All eyes are on massive shows of strength in South China as Filipino and U.S. Navy forces kick off their annual joint military exercises Balikatan today. This while the Chinese Navy holds its biennial meeting of top foreign naval officials in the port city of Qingdao. A point of contention which has arisen between both parties is the use of decommissioned Chinese-made oil tanker owned by the Philippines for live fire target practice. The annual maritime exercise is named Balikatan, which means shoulder to shoulder in Filipino, has begun and will last till May 10th. These activities, along with small French contingent within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, are headlining the country's largest ever joint drills. This is also the first time Balikatan exercises are taking place outside the Philippines' territorial waters. This while China hosts its biennial meeting of top foreign naval officials to bolster maritime diplomacy in the region. The meeting will last till Wednesday, April 24th, with close to 30 nations in attendance, including the delegation of Pacific Fleet Commander Admiral Stephen Kohler from the U.S. Society. Envoys of other countries invited to the forum include Australia, France, South Korea, Russia, Britain, along with India, who will also be serving, observing the Balikatan drills. Beginning in 1991, Balikatan exercises have been part of a broader commitment between the Philippines and the United States to boost defense cooperation. This as China's maritime aggression in the region is increasingly pushing adjacent nations towards U.S. security sphere. The exercises will involve 16,700 soldiers. 11,000 American and 5,000 Filipino troops as well as Australian and French military personnel. The drills will feature training in maritime security, air missile and cyber defense. Close to 14 nations are expected to join in as observers in the exercise. An aspect of the exercises that has irked China is the sinking of the decommissioned Chinese-made oil tanker BRP Lake Kaliraya. Ahead of the joint drills, Beijing took a swipe last week, warning Manila that its move to flex its muscles and stoke confrontation will heat up tensions. Beijing also took a veiled jibe at Washington, stating that Manila's decision to hand over its security to forces outside the region would only lead to greater insecurity and turn Philippines into someone else's chess piece. Act seeking absolute security, clinging to the zero-sum mentality and being keen on putting together small cliques, especially engaging in maritime containment, encirclement and island chain blockades will only plunge the world into a vortex of division and turbulence. Manila, however, has responded that the scuttling of the tanker is not intended to send any message to tertiary countries and that the choice of a Chinese-made decommissioned vessel for the live fire exercise was purely unintentional. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.